Now in chapter 11 here, we come now to the last chapter in this section of the contest with Pharaoh. And actually, there are 10 plagues. Some would say 11 plagues. I'm of the opinion that you might put down 11, but at least a minimum of nine. And so here is what I would call the 10th one. Now in chapter 11, verse 1, And the Lord said unto Moses, Yet will I bring one plague more upon Pharaoh and upon Egypt. Afterwards he'll let you go hence. When he shall let you go, he shall surely thrust you out hence altogether. Speak now in the ears of the people, and let every man borrow of his neighbor and every woman of her neighbor jewels of silver and jewels of gold. Now, I'd like to offer an explanation right here. We'll have this before us again. But actually, what we have in this matter of borrowing, it means they were collecting back wages. You see what had happened. They had served here in the land of Egypt as slaves, and they hadn't been paid anything. And so now they are to be paid. And this is what they're to do. The word literally is ask of his neighbor. Go and ask for your back wages. That's the thought that is here. And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. The Egyptians now glad to pay them all to get rid of them. Moreover, the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt, in the sight of Pharaoh's servants and in the sight of the people. And Moses said, Thus saith the Lord, About midnight will I go out into the midst of Egypt, and all the firstborn in the land of Egypt shall die. From the firstborn of Pharaoh that sitteth upon his throne, even unto the firstborn of the maidservant that is behind the mill, and all the firstborn of beasts. And there shall be a great cry throughout all the land of Egypt, such as there was none like it, nor shall be like it any more. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast, that ye may know how the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. And all these thy servants shall come down unto me and bow down themselves unto me, saying, Get thee out, and all the people that follow thee, and after that I will go out. And he went out from Pharaoh in a great anger. And the Lord said unto Moses, Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you, that my wonders may be multiplied in the land of Egypt. And Moses and Aaron did all these wonders before Pharaoh, and the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart so that he would not let the children of Israel go out of his land. Now, in one sense, the contest is over, but actually not, and it's still a battle of the gods.